Today you're gonna be playing a video game. Okay. But it's gonna be a little different. I can tell so far because I'm standing instead of sitting. I don't know what video game I would be playing with nothing in front of me. This is an HTC Vive, a virtual reality gaming headset. Oh man, here we go. These, oh, these headsets are so cool. I've never ever done it. I've been watching like every Markiplier video that involved this though. They make me laugh so hard. I think it's just the Oculus Rift that I've heard about, not this one though. I've gone to like Best Buy and they have it. You can try it out, so I've done that. It actually seems like you're in like another world. Today we're gonna have you try it out and play a game called Job Simulator. For this episode, we're gonna have you working as a chef. Job Simulator? I've never even had a real job in my life yet. I haven't stepped into the virtual reality world yet and that's gonna be my first day, so I'm hella excited. <laughs> Hello, oh, human. This is an accurate simulation of gourmet chef. Oh my god, this is an actual kitchen. Oh my god. Oh, I'm in a teeny little kitchen. This is so cute. I love it. Pull paper when ready. Oh, order up. Here I go. We'll start by making some breakfast. Turn on the grill and let's get frying. Breakfast, grill. Can I step forward? Yeah. Oh, this is so weird. And then click? Yeah. Oh, grab it. All right. Okay. So I need to get bacon and eggs. I see bacon and eggs. So is it in here maybe? Oh, eggs. All right. Your eggs. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, it's only four. <laughs> it's like pretty done. So I'm going to like take it off now. Put it on the plate. Let's see. Bacon! Ah, this is really it's, it feels like I'm actually like reaching in and grabbing it. Oh my gosh. Okay, get it now on. Now put your creations on the plate and you can ring the bell to send it out to the restaurant. Okay. How cute! Woo! I feel excited, but I'm kind of scared because I don't want to give anyone food poisoning and have my restaurant get shut down. Let's see, what do we got? The smoothie is one of the most efficient forms of human food. Simply take some of your inefficient solid food and put it through the blender. Okay. Let's turn it to blender. Ah! How futuristic. Blend? What the? That's so trippy. And we can just throw whatever we want in there? Here's some fruits behind me. Fresh fruit is best. Which fruits do I want? Lemon. And then I'm gonna put in like a lime for like a tropical theme. You're getting a carrot smoothie whether you like it or not, mister. Better enjoy it too, because I don't work for free. I don't think anyone would want to eat this. Okay. <gasps> okay, so just throw random things in it. All right, let's throw the spiral pot. No, I want the whole thing too. I feel so bad for the person drinking this. I'm just gonna make the cheese and it's on the ground. <laughs> uh, tomatoes, mushrooms. It's gonna be a good smoothie. Looks good. Pour it out into a cup and then we can serve it. <laughs> All right, one more. <laughs> that looks like the most disgusting thing a human will ever eat. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Let's try making some soup. As you can see, there are several different kinds we could make, but they all start with putting some water in the pot. This is gonna be fun. I like making like stew and stuff. Soup coming right up. Oh, I have to get water in here somehow. How am I supposed to? Oh, oh, use a cup. That's smarter. Can I use this water? Ha. Great. Oh, now fill okay. it with whatever kind of ingredients you want. Whatever kind of ingredients I want. Put anything in the pot. This is what I like about this game. You can literally put anything in the pot and it'll work. Like my broken pieces of wine glass over here. Because, you know, anyone uses all that stuff. Not cold. Oh, we have like a warm thing. Oh, it's just a pantry. Get avocado. I thought that was wine. Uh, let's get some spicy stuff in here. <laughs> Potato. That's soup like, and probably some corn. I don't know what this is, so it's going in. It's like a brown blob. Pretzels, and it looks like bacon. 
So I think that's probably good. <laughs> Maybe a flower too. That's how you make good soup. You just beat the crap out of it. Avocado, avocado, and potato soup. No way. It made the soup in like in the pot. It says potato corn and flour soup. Lava pocket, climb and cheese soup. My specialty. How do you pull out a can out of a pot? There was hot water in there. That makes no sense, but okay. Just I like Mombot used to make. Mombot. <laughs> okay. Next order. Next, create a vertical arrangement of organic elements. Humans refer to this as a sandwich. That's the easy go-to right there. Wake up at 3 in the morning. You don't want to make anything. You just go make a sandwich. A sandwich. I'm going to use the sandwich setting. Oh, and it's I have a sandwich stacker right here ready to go. Sandwich stacking times four. Okay, well, first you need the bread on the bottom. Cookies on the sandwich would be a good move. Excellent. Hot pocket. I want a hot pocket sandwich. Mushroom. Mushroom. I'm just going to make a BLT. If we like have any lettuce. Which we don't. Oh, a lime. Okay. <laughs> it's a BLT, technically. Okay. Okay, and then the olive. <laughs> what is this abomination? I'm trying to cut down on gluten, but that looks pretty sandwich. That looks disgusting. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Four pieces of bread. I would never serve this. Here's my cute little sandwich. Why is a robot cutting down on gluten? Is that even a thing? My sandwich is like a million feet tall. Five star meal coming right up. Next one. Yo, I think after this game, I think I might make a career change because I'm such an impressive chef. Oh, this French guy. Today I brought you a very rare steak. It is a 1984 vintage. Oh, vintage steak. Thanks, man. He's a food, always a food critic. So I have to do this good. That's disgusting. There's mold on this br on this meat. You shake off the. Ugh, that's disgusting. So my steak is on my grill. Turn it up. Ew, that looks really gross. It's covered in mold. Do continue. I do wish for it to be well done. Well done. Got it. Oh, I burnt it. Yes. Oh, this is like. Be oh, <laughs> I just ate a steak. My bad. Quite well done. Now, if you would be so kind as to pair it with your finest vintage grape juice. Grape juice. I like how he said that. Um, this is fine. I can't just pour it. I have to take it off somehow. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, there we go. Très bien, très bien. Please have it delivered out to the restaurant at once. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. Before you plate that, Before did you realize that what? was famed meat aficionado meat bot? We'd better that make was sure meat our bot? Services. We'd better make sure our service is exceptional. Quiet. Better slip this on the plate, too. What? Now you're asking me to bribe someone? Are you kidding me? That is unacceptable. We're bribing a food critic right now? Oh my goodness. Here's the fine grape juice. Yeah. Ding, go get me some good reviews, little steak. What am I making? Who's this lady? Psst. Hey, human. Can you help me out here? So I'm trying to propose to my romantic partner. Oh, to be surprised. Can you hide this ring inside a sandwich or something? Um, yeah, I can do that, but, like, that's, like, a really bad idea. Like, if anyone ever tries to propose to me that way, like, don't. Don't do it, because I will just eat the food, and I'll eat the ring. She's going to eat it, but okay. Let's go to my sandwich maker. What else does he want on there? Why does he want an egg? All right, whatever, man. It's his choice. Let's get this egg that I already cracked. Turn this up. Put that there. Sucks to be you, you get a nasty raw egg. <laughs> then ring, then uncooked meat, olive, go. 
Bon Appetit. That looks bomb. Voila. Oh, that's great. Yeah, you're uh, welcome. One more thing, though. I wanted to have some romantic music playing while oh, I do it. God. I forgot to burn this disc. Could you burn it for me? To show affection for one another, humans of the past would burn music onto primitive storage devices called discs. The details of the burning this is like 1990. procedure. The details of the burning procedure have largely been lost to history, okay. but it must have had something to do with heat. Okay, I guess I'm burning your CD. Just a minute. We're putting. A CD in a toaster. So now I gotta put a, a CD in a toaster because you know that's what humans used to do. We used to just put CDs in toasters because you know we're just like that. America burning a CD. Oh, and now it's on fire. Oh, Aha! Perfect. Perfect. Fire mixtape. Thank tape. you so much. Okay. Uh, make sure you load the disc into the boombox and hit play before you send out that Romantic sandwich. Romantic. I'll take care of things from there. Okay. Did I just press play? There we go. Alright. These tunes aren't that romantic. Okay. Let's What's hope this is easy. My sandwich feels much heavier than usual. That's interesting. I wonder if there's something different inside? What do you mean? Woo! Do it. What's this? It's cute. <laughs> I emotion you emotion into a legally binding partnership with me. Oh, of course. I'm the happiest spot in the world. Aw. Oh wow. The answer was affirmative. The answer was affirmative. Affirmative. <laughs> the answer was affirmative. <laughs> That's great. Woo! I just got two people married! Let's stop that disgusting music. That music was horrible. That's it for today. Ah, uh, I am buying that immediately. As soon as possible. That was the best thing I've done in so long. I felt like I was there. I forgot I was in this room. That was the, one of the most fun and creative games I've ever played in my life. Because it's like literally like the guys gave you the menu, but you were allowed to put whatever you wanted into that thing. So it kind of gave you that freedom to work with. Virtual reality gaming is just like a whole new like step into what technology is going to become. And I think that that's the, the coolest thing to like be a part of right now. Thanks for watching this episode of Gaming on the React Channel. Want more gaming episodes? Then hit that like button. What games are you playing on VR? Let us know in the comments. Subscribe so you can watch us try to make work fun again. Bye guys, I'm off to try some of those nasty recipes.